everyone today's topic is sociological perspectives we can look in detail sociology seeks to study the society and to analyze it in terms of the social relations that have a pattern sociology addresses itself to three basic questions the three questions are first one how and why societies emerge second one how societies persist and third one how and why societies change perspectives for general understanding perspective is specific ways of looking at and understanding so considering the views of the sociologists and the understanding of society which they have it can be classified as marxian perspective weberian perspective functionalist perspective interactionist perspective pluralist perspective liberal perspective historical perspective evolutionary perspective the evolutionary perspective was the earliest theoretical perspective in sociology a common characteristic to most of the great social thinkers of the 19th century was their concern with how human societies had evolved from relatively small scale and simple forms of organization to large scale and complex ones based on the work of august comte and herbert spencer it explains the growth of human societies comte linked developments in human knowledge culture and society societies pass through three stages the primitive intermediary and scientific which corresponded to the forms of human knowledge arranged along similar continuum of theological metaphysical and positive reasoning all human societies pass through stages as it develops suggesting both unilinear direction and progress Herbert Spencer also displayed a linear conception of evolutionary stages the degree of complexity in society was the scale on which he measured progress the trend of human societies was from simple and differentiated wholes to complex and heterogeneous ones where the parts of the whole became more specialized but remain integrated he worked with an organic analogy but did not describe society as an organism evolutionism went out of fashion among social scientists in the early 20th century functionalism represented a partial rejection of evolutionism The original theories of the social evolutionists still survey for example in the impact of Comte's views on the development of the human mind on our conceptions of the history of the sciences in the notion of differentiation elaborated by Spencer and Parsons functionalist perspective The functionalist perspective draws its original inspirations from the work of Herbert Spencer and Emile Durkheim. Spencer compared societies to living organism. Any organism has a structure which consists of a number of interrelated parts. Each of these parts has a function to play in the life of the total organism. In the same way Spencer argued a society has a structure it also consists of interrelated parts such as the family religion and state etc each of these components has a function 
which contributes to the overall stability of the social system. Characteristics of functionalist perspective. First one is the social system. Functionalist theory implies that society tends to be an organized, stable, well integrated system in which most members agree on basic values. In the functionalist view, a society has an underlying tendency to be in equilibrium. Social change is therefore likely to be disruptive unless it takes place relatively slowly because change in one part of the system usually provokes changes elsewhere in the system. Second one functions and dysfunctions. The supposed purposes of some components, the social system do not necessarily tell us what its functions are because those components can have consequences other than those that were intended. Robert Merton distinguishes between manifest functions that is those that are obvious and intended and latent function those that are unrecognized and unintended. Merton also points out that no all elements in the social system are functional at all times. On occasion, some element may actually disrupt the social equilibrium and may therefore be dysfunctional. This perspective is obviously useful in explaining why some elements in a society exist and persist, but it also has some disadvantages. An important criticism of the perspective is that it tends in practice to be inherently conservative. This is because their main emphasis is of dismissing changes as dysfunctional even if those changes are necessary, inevitable and beneficial on the long run. Conflict Perspective Conflict theory is based largely on the writings of Karl Marx who believed that class conflict is at the foundation of society. Class conflict comes about because people are divided into different classes according to their positions in the economic system. Modern conflict theory which is associated with such sociologists as C. Wright Mills and Louis Causer does not simply focus, as Marx did, on class conflict. It sees conflict between many other groups and interests as a fact of life in any society. The main assumptions of conflict theory are First one, conflict and change. The assumptions of the conflict perspective are different from those of the functionalist perspective. Conflict theorists assume that societies are in a constant state of change in which conflict is a permanent feature. Conflict does not necessarily imply outright violence. It includes tension, hostility, competition and disagreement over goals and values. It is a constant process and is an inevitable part of social life. Conflict theorists do not see social conflict as a necessarily destructive force, although they admit that it may sometimes have that effect. They argue that conflict can often have positive results. It binds groups together as they pursue their own interests and the conflict between competing groups focuses attention on social problems and leads to beneficial changes. Second one is the beneficiaries. That is, a modern society contains a wide spectrum of opinions, occupations, lifestyles and social groups. On any social issue, there are some people who stand to gain and some who stand to lose. 
social processes cannot be fully understood without referring to this conflict of interest a conflict whose outcome always favors the stronger party the conflict perspective has the advantage of highlighting aspects of society that the functionalist perspective with its emphasis on consensus and stability tends to ignore thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe our channel also click the bell icon to get further notifications